In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Split Animator from Tokyo Productions. Split Animator offers you some supercharged animated split screen effects, from simple composites to complex animations featuring many clips. These effects were designed for use in Final Cut Pro 10. You can find them in the Effects Browser under Tokyo Split Animator. All of the different effects you see represent the different configurations available to you. If I select my first clip and scrub over some of the effects, you can see how Split Animator will place the clip in different split screen configurations. I'll take the A2 Split Animator effect and drop it on my clip. Immediately we see the effect active, complete with an in and out animation. It's also generated an alpha channel, which we can use to composite on another clip. Let's take a look at the parameters. We have control over the direction of the arrive and depart animation. This effect defaults to arriving from the left and departing to the top. The drop-down menus give us lots of options, including no animation. I'd simply like to reverse the defaults, arrive from the bottom and depart from the left. Next, we have control over the X and Y position of the split screen in the frame. Additionally, we can fade the clip in or out, but I'll leave it as the default as well. I'll go ahead and composite this on top of the next clip. I'll change the border color and thicken it. Checking the alpha border box turns off the area that we've selected as the border. If I uncheck the Crop Border Edges box, you'll see all the borders appear on screen. This gives us less of a split screen effect and more of a floating on top effect. Additionally, we could add some roundness to the border edges and a drop shadow if we'd like. The OSC position and scale controls allow us to move the clip within the box. You can also do this from the on-screen controls in the viewer. We can easily make more complex split-screen configurations, even with multiple iterations of an effect working together. I have three stacked clips on my timeline. I'll drop the E1 split animator effect on each clip. This effect has the added Alt Layouts parameter, which allows me to choose the layout position for this clip. I'll keep Layout A. I'll keep my first clip in the center, and then adjust the X position to left and right for the other two clips. Then I'll make quick adjustments to the positioning of each clip in its frame, and to how each clip animates in and out. So in less than 30 seconds, I have an impressive looking animation. You can take these effects to other levels and really make up your own rules from pretty standard to very unique configurations. Split Animator allows you to make simple to elaborate split screen effects for your footage quickly with no keyframing. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.